Something like that. Hold on. Okay. I want it right here, but it's just not staying for me. Hold on. But I feel like this is annoying. I don't know. I don't YouTube, so. Well, I do, but I don't. I'm gonna import this on the face. Pour it, spray it. experiences as a bikini barista they're not all the best I made a little note <laughs> like a little note thing so I was bored and on my shift one day and I was just thinking of YouTube ideas so this is a disturbing funny creepy weird and rude experiences I've had okay okay so one of them so I was working one night and this is when I like first started working here and this fucking guy pulls up and I'm wearing a schoolgirl outfit okay I was wearing for sure it was a red skirt with like a black top and i was like oh yeah it's so cute like i brought like a little ruler because i was like spanking my butt like just being fucking a slick because like that's my fucking job but okay so this guy pulls up and he's fucking let me not get that wet and he's fucking wearing the same fucking outfit as me and like he has like a wig on like a blonde wig he had fake tits like i don't know what was in his fucking chest but it was fake tits and he had a thong on and everything like he stuck and showed me he said look i got a thong on and everything i'm like oh shit cool dude okay like good for you and he only sent me like five dollars and i had to go through all that fucking paying for five dollars like lovely but he was talking about how he's going to a swingers club which if you don't know what that is it's like a club where you have like sex and it's like a weird thing like glory holes and shit are in it i don't know i don't know there's another story about that too about yeah okay but he was like yeah i'm gonna go get my dick sucked for 25 dollars i've done it before and i'm like <laughs> i don't need to know this tmi sir but you go and it's just super weird and i was like okay and then there's this other guy that always comes by and he's like 
his car is full of like trash like so much trash in it but he always has like these business cards for like the swingers club that he like goes to and he's like yeah if you've never tried like a free threesome or like an orgy you can come by and try it and i'm like what makes you think that i would want to fuck a whole bunch of weird creepy ass fucking perverts like no thank you sir and then he always gives me a little gift and he's like oh and he doesn't yeah, he, didn't even, he doesn't even buy a drink when he comes by. He just comes by to talk. And I hate it when people do that. And so he always is like, oh, and don't forget, I gotta give you a little gift. And, like, it talks for, like, 30 minutes. And I'm just like, bye, bye, bye. If you're not gonna like, fucking buy anything, leave. He's like, here's a pair of beads. And he gave me a pair of beads. And I'm like, what the fuck am I gonna do with this? Like, he grabs something from the trash in his back fucking seat and just hands me it. Like, his trash is compiled up. Like, I don't know how you can see in the fucking rearview mirror. And then, let me take my notes, what's another one? Um, oh my gosh, this guy tipped me one time. It was probably like three weeks ago too, and he tipped me one time. He said, he wants me to say, I'm gonna make you so jealous, Janice. And I'm like, okay, I said it, and I was like, wait, who the fuck is Janice? And he was like, it's my wife. And I'm like, that's your kink? That's your motherfucking kink. You're fucking weird. Get the fuck out of here. And what's another one? That one was quick, but it was weird. Um, I got this wife came through the Linwood stand, and she was going on and on and on about how um how her like her husband just came there, so he, she took his phone, she took his fucking car, and she's like, I'm gonna come here myself and buy a fucking drink since he wants to come here and take pictures of you guys, cause like she was saying that like there was pictures on his phone of us and shit. And I was like, yeah, girl. And I, I showed her the list, and then, like, she talks for five minutes about her fucking husband's a piece of shit, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, girl, like, you go. And then, uh, she fucking was like, well, I'm not gonna buy a drink anymore, because you'll probably know his name from the car. And I'm like, bitch, you just wasted my damn time. Like, sure, that was fucking entertaining, but, like, don't waste my time. Like, I'm fucking sitting down, enjoying life, fucking going on my phone, hitting my fucking vape, which I can't do right now. I mean, I can probably hit it a couple more times because it doesn't taste completely burnt and there's like some in there. I'm gonna hit it very conservatively. But yeah, it was very weird. And I was just like, okay, girl. Like, it was a late night shift too. So it was around like 10 p.m. at night. I'm like, fuck, this is weird. And I was like, I'm not gonna fucking remember your fucking husband's name, first of all. Like, he's not that special. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, this one's disgusting. So, he fucking... Hold on. Okay, it's off. <laughs> Camera was on. But, um... So this guy comes through. He comes through in Monroe stand, too. And he asked you to piss in a fucking cup for him. And when I first heard it, I was like... You got to be fucking kidding me. Like you want me to piss in a cup and he's like yeah i like to drink it i'm like ah, motherfucker no like stop doing that with your life you're gonna fucking die one day i mean i don't know if piss is fucking edible or not or does it kill you i don't fucking know but it's gross and i was like i'm not doing that no matter how much you i mean maybe if you pay me like a million dollars shit like a thousand even like <laughs> i'll piss 10 times in a cup for you but no that shit was weird and then, sorry, I keep hearing sounds. I'm like, is someone just gonna walk up and take me through that door? Okay, what's another one? Oh my god, threatening me. That happened like fucking two weeks ago. That shit was so scary. So I was working a late night in Mount Lake Terrace. I won't work late nights anymore, like, recently. Well, for a little bit. But, um,. Yeah, so he came, he comes up to the stand, and he's just like, I don't want to buy a drink. Like, I just want to see, like, your tits and shit. And I was like, well, I can't really do that. You can buy a drink, though, and tip me good, because I'm cute. And he's like, no, I want to see you. And so I'm like, bro, no. And he just goes on for, like, fucking 20 minutes. Like, I have a video of me yelling at him, because I thought, like, he was going to fucking kill me or some shit. And I was like, no, you're not getting a fucking drink. Like, you're not, well, I mean, if you're not getting a drink, you're not going to get fucking, like anything for me like i'm not gonna give you like a fucking attention shit like that like you can get the fuck out of here and yeah and he was like just 20 dollars like i want to see you fucking shove a dildo up you because that's what some girls do at other stands not paradise 
but I was like, no, that's, that's not gonna happen, sir, get the fuck out of here, and then he was like, he left, and he's like, you'll see what's gonna happen, and I'm like, mm -hmm. what's gonna happen, so I was scared as fuck, I was like, this motherfucker's gonna kill me, and I was just like, my heart was beating, I was just fucking, I had to go outside and throw away trash alone at fucking 12 a.m., I was like, bro, fuck this shit, I'm out of here, I quit, <laughs> Yeah, I was hella scared, but it was not fun. Like, bitch, you're mad over twenty dollars. A strip club wouldn't even let you win for twenty dollars. Oh my god, I was making this guy drinks one time. And I was like, hey, how are you? Doing? Like, do you watch TV? Because I was watching TV, and like, I just kind of say stuff like off based off what I'm doing, and, like what's going on in my life, and like asking, like, relating almost. And so I was like, do you watch TV? And he was like, yeah, I like anime. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, I don't have a problem with people liking anime. But I was making this drink for him. And I was just like, you know, shaking my ass, you know, all that cute stuff. And he just starts making new faces. He's like, oh, oh, I don't like it. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, it was fucking weird. But he was like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. And I was like, are you okay? Like, are you shitting yourself? Like, But yeah, he's cool, he's nice, but like, this shit was weird. Um, oh, so the guy that likes the piss, he's also very, I guess I would say racist, yeah. So like, he always uses the word like, beaner, and because there's like a lot of Mexicans that come to these places, and he's like, oh, like, beaner's in the fucking big truck behind me, of course, this happens every fucking time. He's like, watch they're gonna only tip you two dollars so i'm like sir you only tip me fucking like ten dollars when you come here which is good but like don't feel so high and mighty and don't be a fucking racist ass prick like he's fucking 70 year old 70 years old always asking he's like can you come be my topless mate at my house and i'm like ha ha shit totally and then he's like no my my wife will get mad and i'm like i'm not being dead ass bro i'm not a fucking prostitute i make fucking coffee and yeah that is a weirdo um looking at my notes um oh my god there's this guy at the Mount Lake Terry stand and he like barely comes by but he's very very old and he talks about how um him and his wife used to own a swingers club and like when I had blonde hair she was like he's blonde she's blonde just like you and I love it you I love blondes they're so sexy and he just kind of repeats the same thing every time he comes and then at the end he always says here's two dollars one for each titty and I'm like if you don't get the fuck out of here you weirdo but like thanks for the two dollars but I don't know I don't fucking know okay do, 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 do. Oh my god, touching my fucking ass. So at the Mount Lake Terrace stand, you're super close to the fucking window, so it's like pushed off right here. You see the window right here. So like the fucking stand's like right here, like it cuts off. So like your ass is literally hanging out the fucking window. And so I was fucking making my coffee, doing my thing, and this guy reaches in and touches my ass. So I was like, are you gonna tip me for that? Like, you, like, no, you can't just touch my ass and fucking get away with it. Like, you're about to fucking tip me. Like fucking weird ass motherfucker tips me fucking twenty dollars and i'm like no 200 pay up you're not gonna fucking touch me i'm not no fucking stripper like you cannot touch me like this is why i work as a bikini barista because i don't like to be touched is that clear this is gonna be ptsd bro i'm getting mad <laughs> but yeah i was like don't fucking touch me you fucking weirdo the fuck yeah and he was just like oh the girls other girls let me do it and i was like no they actually don't because i took a video of him and i posted it in our group chat that we talked to each other and then like after shifts and shit and this girl named willow that i didn't know if i didn't know willow she was like that's the same guy who touched me and she like didn't know what to do when it happened she was like oh. she's like in awe and i was like yeah i was kind of in awe too but i was like at the end of the day i was like you better pay me like <laughs> no i like yelled at him i was like don't ever fucking come back here you're a fucking weirdo and then yeah let me move on to the next one because I hate oh wait there's another guy that smashed too he was on a fucking motorcycle so I bent over and I can't even say what I did bro he touched my ass and like I may have did something but I, that's not for you too I don't want to get fucking in trouble 
Okay, I have two more. Okay. One guy at Malik Terra stand, he asked to see my feet. And I, I got told that that was going to happen here, but I was like, mm, it's not going to happen. Like, no, like, who would, who would want to see my feet? And this guy pulls through, he's like, can I give you $60 and can I see your feet? And I was like, sure, like, you don't even seem like a guy that would like this shit. Like, that's so weird. And so I showed him my feet and he's like, oh, they're so hot. And I was like, thanks, they're like a little sweaty and they're not painted. And he was like, that just makes it even better. I love them. I was like, fuck. I was like, ah, okay, thank you. Do you just want me to like rub them or something like that? Like, you gave me sixty dollars. Like, what do I do? Just like, fucking pull the lint out of my toenails? I don't fucking know. <laughs> it was weird. Okay, <laughs> last one. This guy came through and like, he said that his like girlfriend, like his dom almost, like told him to make him the nastiest drink ever. And like, I didn't do it. Obviously, I was like, I can't do that. Like. <laughs> So I was like, I can't do that. I mean, I can make you a drink I don't like, and I can put, like, hella syrup in it or something, but I hope you don't break it, because that's, like, diabetes in a cup. But, yeah. Honestly, that's all the grossest experience I could think of, I guess. So, I'm done holding this paper wrong, because I finally fucking got this video over with. And it's 16 minutes long, and I don't think I'm going to edit it all, because fuck it. But... Yes, thank you for watching this video. I forgot there's outros and YouTube videos. It's not like TikTok. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have a good day. And just know that, like, there's gross ass things and weird ass things and funny ass things in the bikini industry. You just gotta be a strong ass female. Like, yeah. Like, if anything were to happen, you got, you got a cup, and you got hot steaming water to burn their fucking face off, and you got pepper spray at all times in here you got this thing you can fuck their shit up with so you like look fuck their shit up with right here you fucker yeah you got money too so you can take my money don't get me ah! like a gta stripper or some shit but <laughs> it was nice talking to you guys thanks for watching like comment subscribe comment more things for me to do and we out <laughs>